If I were you, I would stop asking so many questions and run away from this place at once. Do you need me to tell you how? Hmm. Forget it. It's too late anyway. Given how immature these shackles are, you're pretty persistent. As a reward, let me share with you something interesting. This is Zoya's spiritual world. She sacrificed herself to the ring, so the ring listens to her voice and responds to her wishes. Isn't that incredible? She thirsts for destruction, and the ring grants her power. Monster. <laughs> From your point of view, that's indeed true. But that's her genuine wish. She was born a perfect monster. Yes, I'm honored to be involved in the refinement process of such a perfect piece. I must thank you, too. Without the accidents you brought about, we wouldn't have gained such a big, pleasant surprise. Excellent. You're capable of controlling this world now. It has responded to you, too. Come on, you counterfeit. She and you are bound together by the shackles, and the ring will respond to your wishes, too. <laughs> Tell me, what do you want to do? No! These are not your wishes. <laughs> That's not what you really want. Listen to your heart. You only want me to die. This is your mutual 
wish. The two of you are echoing of each other. This is the power of the shackles. The power of the ring. Destroy everything, then. The ring will respond to your wishes. Wake up! Don't sink into the ring! Come back to reality! Come back! The shackles are very dangerous now. Don't get close to them. Calm down, calm down. You're only affected by the black ring and being controlled by the mania. You must get back to yourself. This is not your fault. This is not your fault. Calm down. Listen to me. Thank you. 